There just isn't a quick way to get to Hawaii as the day is always filled with long travel, regardless of where you are coming from. But the Sycamores made it safe and sound and were even able to get some work in late Thursday. Uh, trying to get up at 3 and, and be on the road just a little after 4, but uh, long trip. We made it. Uh, can't complain about being in Hawaii over the holidays. So I've uh, been in this tournament. Uh, this is my fourth time now. A couple when I was at Iowa and the uh, first one when I was here. So uh, it's good to see some familiar faces. we got some friends over here and some Sycamore fans over here. Well, even before we did it the previous time, we researched a little bit. Teams that play Hawaii, what you do when you get here, what you do when you get back. So we try to go by what people say is the best way to do it. And what we did last time was what we'll do uh, while we're here today. We'll go just get their legs back, get them running up and down, get them sweating, probably do a little bit of, of Colorado, but not being in here very long. I know they're tired, the coaches are tired. It was a long day, um, but we have to get something. Got to get our legs back, got to get a sweat going. And tomorrow, another short, hard practice. The last time Indiana State was in the Diamond Head Classic turned out pretty darn well for the Sycamores, winning two of their three games, including one against nationally ranked Miami. The norm has been performing at a high level in these types of tournaments. But the past two seasons hasn't been the case for the Sycamores. It's time to change that starting Saturday. Yeah, until the last two years, we've been 2-1 in every tournament we've been in, and we've been in some great ones. And uh, the one we played at here was probably as good as any we've ever been in with three ranked teams. You know, you beat an Ole Miss, losing a tight one to a, a top 10 uh, San Diego State team and then beating the eventual ACC champ Miami. So that was a great time. Hopefully we can bring some good karma back in it. We know we got our hands full with a very good Colorado team to start. And the bigger thing is let's get playing better. You can't win a tournament without getting the first one. And Colorado will continue to push a message Coach Lansing has been preaching countless times the past couple of weeks. Transition defense. Transition defense and keeping them off the glass. So uh, it's something we talk about frequently. Uh, you have to have a sense of urgency as soon as the uh, possession, ch possession changes, and uh, hopefully we will. Finally, most will be watching this midday Friday back in the state, specifically in Indiana. But Sycamores will have a private boat tour, Pearl Harbor, and other activities planned before competition on Saturday, which in the eyes of Coach Lansing is always a must-do. You know, it's, it's bigger than basketball, some of the things that you talk about and some of the things you do, just like last year at Charleston. We've always tried to do something educational or pretty local uh, wherever we're at, and I've done this, being again, my fourth time with Lieutenant Cur Colonel Howard Sagai. Uh, he's arranged a private boat tour for us, and, you know, it's a very touristic place. I think it's a, it's a powerful place to visit. I think uh, when I've been there, every time it's been powerful. And for us to have our own private tour tomorrow is going to be pretty special. For more on Indiana State's matchup with Colorado on Saturday, as well as the rest of the Diamond Head Classic here in Honolulu, stay right here at GoSycamores.com.